Israeli warplanes continue to pound Gaza in a bombing campaign that has killed more than 280 people. A warm welcome to the news. I'm Wei Su Lok. Israeli forces are continuing a bombing campaign in the Gaza Strip. It's already killed more than 280 Palestinians. Meanwhile, the Israeli army is also mobilizing its reservists. Yang Yin tells us more in our top story. Israel launched some 250 airstrikes in the first 24 hours of the campaign. Warplanes dropped bombs and missiles on a top security installation, mosque, a TV station, and dozens of other targets across Gaza on Sunday. Witnesses said Israeli warplanes dropped three bombs on the Syria compound in downtown Gaza, including prison building there. Four people were killed and 25 wounded in the attack. Israeli infantry and armored units were already headed to the Gaza border for a possible ground invasion. Israeli authorities say Israel's military offensive against Gaza militants will probably take some time. Israel's cabinet has authorized a call-up of at least 6,500 reserve soldiers for its Gaza offensive. The IDF will deepen and broaden the operation as much as necessary, and it is continuing to operate in Gaza. Meanwhile, Israeli President Shimon Peres said that Israeli children in southern Israel were still in shelters because of the threat of rocket fire from Gaza. This is the story, and whoever asked us to stop shooting, they have to change the address. Let them turn to Hamas and ask them to stop shooting, and there won't be shootings. Streets were empty in Gaza City on Sunday as most residents stayed home fearing more airstrikes. Schools were shut for a three-day mourning period for the dead. Most of the casualties were security forces, but the United Nations said seven teenagers were among the civilian dead. The offensive began eight days after a six-month truce between Israel and Hamas expired. Yang Yan, CCTV.